What would happen if we used liquid nitrogen to bust into the unbustable? Hi! Took slingshots to the extreme. Whoa! And totally set identical things on a collision course. Oh, it's about to be on. crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. Victorious! I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Hey, banana, and no one will get her. CJ is the ultimate in cool. He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. Whoa! Dude, have you guys ever seen what liquid nitrogen can do? It can freeze anything. Totally. Hey, and when stuff is frozen, you can shatter it like glass. Yeah. What would happen if we could harness the power of the freeze and get into anything? You know what's the one place I've always dreamed about getting into? Carnival Claw Game. Oh. Those things are impossible to defeat. Yeah. What would happen if we tried to beat the claw game with liquid nitrogen? The claw arm game is basically rigged. It's meant for failure. You can put on as many corners as you want, and you're not gonna get a stuffed animal. What you're gonna get is air. But that ends today. To finally beat the claw arm game, we're gonna freeze it with liquid nitrogen and see if a human battering ram, Ollie, can smash it open and get to the ultimate stuffed animal prize inside. CJ. Duke. What would happen if we tried to beat the claw game with liquid nitrogen? As you can see here, we have our liquid nitrogen tanks, and these bad boys are pushing out negative 320 degree liquid nitrogen. Which, thanks to the lab dudes, will be super safe for us, but bad frozen news for the claw arm game. Now, Jackson's gonna be working this bad boy with this hose right here, and he's gonna spray this claw game until it freezes entirely. Ali's gonna run from 50 feet away and try and ram right through it. Now me, I'm gonna be on the inside because I'm not personally convinced that he's gonna be able to break this thing open. Woo! Do a liquid nitrogen X. That's where I'm gonna hit. This isn't gonna work. You will be wrong, little piggy, and I will huff and puff and blow your crane down. That pig is gonna be going wah, wah, wah all the way home with me. You ready, CJ? Yeah. You ready, Ali? Yeah. Hi! Ali took off like a wild raccoon. It was beautiful. This could have been a big mistake. And shatter! And boom! Out came the piggy. We did it! Train Claw, you've been defeated. My claw home, it's ruined! It's still frozen and broken. All of it. What did I tell you? Feel this. Woo! And check out all of our toys that we get. I know! Dudes, beating the crane is awesome. But you know what's even more frustrating? When you gotta go to the bathroom and no one's in it, but it's still locked? Dude, oh, that's, that's so the bad. worst. Okay, what if we use liquid nitrogen to freeze an entire bathroom so we can crack it open and get in there in a hurry? Dude, yes! Don't you hate it when you gotta use the bathroom and it's locked from the inside and no one's in it? I mean, look at this. There's a red hand saying, stay out. But hey, hello? No one's in there. Well, we got a solution. You got to break the lock. And how do you break the lock? You freeze it. And how do you freeze it? Liquid nitrogen. Dude, what would happen if you try to open a bathroom with liquid nitrogen? As you can see, the lab dudes are making sure that this thing is frozen solid for maximum shatter action. And then they're going to lift it up on a giant crane, and we're going to pull the cord, and it's going to drop from 60 feet. And then yeah. I will use it first. No. 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 I, I called dip. All right, exactly. rock, paper, scissors. You ready? Three-way. Right. Right. Rock, rock, paper, paper liquid nitrogen. Lab dudes, 
Clear out! All Stop right. the liquid nitrogen! It is frozen! Uh, now okay. lift it up! See ya! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Hopefully the liquid nitrogen did its job, so we'll be good to go, because we gotta go. All right, it's at 60 feet. Let's get ready to drop this frozen bathroom. Three! Two! One! Tomatoes! Coming up, Ollie skates towards food fight history. Yeah! <laughs> CJ attempts a slingshot dunk. Whoa! And I meet my evil twin. Brace for impact. Oh. We're trying to smash open a bathroom by freezing it with liquid nitrogen and dropping it 60 feet. The days of not being able to go to the bathroom when you want must end. A lot higher! All right, you guys ready? Yeah! Three, two, one, tomato! What a drop. So far, so good. Dude, that bathroom fell hard. I hope it still works. <laughs> oh! Dude, oh, check it out! Dude, are oh, you kidding oh. me? Between the fall and the liquid nitrogen, the bathroom opened, but it opened too well. It's destroyed. We really need a good plumber here. Yeah. Dude, what would happen if we tried to beat the claw game with liquid nitrogen? Bonsai! <laughs> Ollie gets his piggy. And dude, what would happen if we try to open a bathroom with liquid nitrogen? <laughs> bathroom is out of order. Dude, how come no one uses slingshots anymore? They're so old school. So they're all about accuracy, right? Right. So why don't we use them to hook up accuracy and launch action for when dudes need it most? Shot put? Whistle it. No. Food fight! <laughs> If there's one thing we all love, it's a good food fight. But they're always the same. How to make them cooler, you ask? With slingshots, of course. Jackson and I will be competing to see who can get the most food on our target. Kind of like one of those carnival games. The target? The elusive duck Ali. Quack. Dude, what would happen if we had a slingshot food fight? All right, check it out, guys. We're here right now to take food fights to an entirely new level. We have our slingshots made by our lab dudes you and I are gonna be trying to hit a moving target, which is this guy, Alita. Ali will be skating back and forth between the two food tables trying to avoid our food assaults. Back and forth. So our goal here is to try to get the most food onto Duck Ali in 60 seconds. I have raspberry danishes, mini sliders, meatballs with gravy, and potato somethings. Yeah, and over there I'm working with some eggs, cupcakes, I got some chili bombs, and pizza bites. I'm an expert slingshot marksman and a master at food fights. This was made for me, I can't lose. I'm taking this. I can move much faster than Jackson, so by the time he gets one shot off, I'll have launched like breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Ali. All right, Duck Ollie, are you ready? Back, 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 back. Start your back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, ha, you missed. Whoa, you also missed. Oh, whoa, Ollie, you're just dodging them. You guys are the worst. I'm the back and forth king. All right, back here we go. Forth. Back and forth. Back yes, and forth. I got him with a slider oh. meatball. Sorry, Ali, but you're the key to my victory. Whoa! There we oh. go. Ah, got him with the cupcake. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed him! Whoa! Gotcha! Oh, got him with the egg! Is that one of my eggs? Who hits a bird with an egg? That's just weird. Whoa! Are we sure it's duck hunting season? There's only 10 seconds left, and the score is 7 to 7. Time to bring out the big guns. Strawberry tarts. This duck is gone. Yes! CJ's winning. I have to catch up. New strategy time. I'm going to use double the food for double the points. I have a hot dog and a frosted cake. 
two superfood missiles. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! I did it! I win! I hit Duck Ali ten times in 60 seconds, and Jackson only hit him nine. And that's how you win in slingshot food fighting. Ali, props to you for being an awesome target. Those slingshots were crazy accurate. Ooh, they were perfect. But check this out. How awesome would it be if we could slingshot ourselves into the air for the ultimate slam dunk? <laughs> Let's go. Most people can't dunk a basketball and really wish they could. So to make dunking possible, CJ is attached to a giant crane attached to a giant slingshot. We all know slingshots are all about recoil. So we're hoping that recoil action will send CJ 35 feet into the air. Dude, what would happen if we tried a slingshot slam dunk? I am the Coach Jackson. Zoom in. Zoom in! I have one star player here, and that is CJ. CJ, how are you feeling about this? Great. Feeling great? Yes. All that I've trained you is going to come out right now? Right now. Yeah? Yeah. Rules are simple. CJ gets two tries to make the ultimate slam dunk using his slingshot. That's it, pretty much. Oh, and of course, it's got to look really cool. Let the slamming begin. All right, let's do it. All right. He's definitely going to make this shot, and I don't take any excuses. With the spring action of that slingshot, I'll definitely make it. And I won't need two tries to do it either. All right, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, sling go! I was gonna make it, but I didn't get high enough. Come on. CJ was so close. He started off really fast, but then the bungee lost its power right before the rim. So this time, we're gonna amp up that bungee power. I'm gonna get above the rim, and I'm gonna perform this sling dunk. All right, you ready? Final try. Three, two, one. <laughs> make the shot, but he flew like a rocket over that net. That was the first and definitely coolest slingshot dunk. Woo! Sling dunk, baby! Dude, what would happen if we had a slingshot food fight? Duck a la slingshot. And dude, what would happen if we tried a slingshot slam dunk? Yeah! Game winner. Hey dudes, this is Spencer from Cincinnati, and I've got a question for you. What would happen if two identical things crashed into each other? Would they come to a sudden stop like in the cartoons, or would something else happen? This is a crazy question. Yes, it is, and all six of us are going to figure it out. There's only three of us. Not if we clone ourselves and then crash into our clone. <laughs> CJ Jackson and I are here to see what happens when identical things smash into each other. Oh, yeah. To make this happen, the lab dudes have created an exact duplicate of Jackson that will swing down 25 feet and crash into the real Jackson to see which Jackson is the last dude standing. Dude, what would happen if Jackson crashed into himself? The lab dudes have cloned Jackson and made this awesome clone that is the exact size, height, weight, and even has the same hairstyle. And uh, Jackson always has some weird concoction of food in his stomach, like shish kebabs. You know, chicken pot pies. Tofu. Turducken. Menudo. So we're going to substitute that with this green, gooey substance that's going to be inside the clone Jackson. The real Jackson will be standing in front of this mattress just in case the clone Jackson overpowers him and knocks him over, which is exactly what I think will happen. Who no, is this strikingly handsome young gentleman? This is the clone. Jackson, what do you think's going to happen? Dude, I'll tell you exactly what's gonna happen. We are just gonna exchange energy, dude. Two Jacksons are gonna hit and they're just gonna cancel each other out. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? We even have to know the same handshakes, although we've never met. We forgot one thing, man. Yeah, what's that? Close your eyes. Keep them closed. What is it? Blindfold. For a true test, blindfolded Jackson shouldn't see his clone coming. Plus, it should be really, really funny. Are, are you blindfolding the clone too, though? Of course uh, we are. Yeah, that's we, only we fair. Are. 
Here we go. Lab news. Hoist them up. All right, let the countdown begin. Here we go. I'm trying to keep my cool, but not being able to see myself come at me is making me nervous. I mean, us. Both of us, nervous. I think. Three, two, one, go slash! We want to see what happens when two identical things run into each other. So we had the lab dudes construct an exact clone of Jackson and lift him 25 feet in the air, where he will swing down and smash the real Jackson. Jackson, we're gonna give you a three, two, one countdown and then clone smash. Three, two, one, clone smash! Oh! Clone Jackson took me down. I totally underestimated the force he would have when dropped from 25 feet. It was coming and coming, and then impact! Green goo everywhere! It was awesome! Clones win! See, now that was a great test. But if we really wanted to test two clone things hitting each other, they need to be the exact same height, exact same width, exact same everything. But they need to be colliding at the exact same speed. Dudes, I got it! Cannonball! Cannonball crash! Two! Oh. Oh. Two air cannons. Dude, they're, they're exactly the same. Exactly the same. We're gonna blast two cannonballs at each other to see what happens when two identical things smash together at the exact same speed. We're even using sweet identical cannonballs that have CJ's face on them. Dude, what would happen if two CJ cannonballs collided? CJ, yeah. what do you think is going to happen when your two identical cannonballs crash in the middle? Well, dude, since they're identical in weight and everything, I think as soon as they hit each other, it's just going to be a stalemate, and they're going to fall to the ground. Since they're identical, yeah, one would think they just fall and stop in the middle. But no, one of them's going to rob the other of all its power and it's going to go off like a, a mile that way. I'm thinking these two cannonballs are going to destroy each other. Am I sure? No. But as soon as we get to the lab dude safety zone, we're gonna blast these cannonballs and find out. It's the moment of truth. The lab dudes are ready. Time to fire those cannons at each other. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Fire! Those cannonballs exploded. I always wanted to know what was inside of a cannonball. Oh, dude, yes! Look at this. Look, look at my face. Still perfectly fine. All right, guys, check it out. What would happen if two of the same things collided at super speeds, but they were huge? Like meteor big. Done. Size, weight, and speed, I call cars. Now that will be a gnarly test. Now the idea of two huge and heavy objects that are identical crashing into each other at high speeds is a great one. And that's what we're here to test today. Allow me to introduce you to the 2,000 pound Ali car. This thing is amazing just in itself. And it is set to collide with an identical Ali car at 40 miles an hour. What, you don't believe there's another identical Ali car on the other side of this parking lot? Follow me. <laughs> what did I tell you? Dude, what would happen if two Ali cars met head on? It is me. Ali, you have never looked so handsome. It looks exactly like him. So to get a perfect collision at the exact same speed at the exact same time, the lab dudes have hooked up cables to the Ollie cars and are gonna pull them from this truck. Say that I'm the wire. Take my hands. Take my hands. All right. All right. And then I'm the wire and you guys are the identical cars. So if I drive out in the middle, what happens? Hi, you guys collide. All right, so Ollie, what do you think is gonna happen when your heads collide? When these two Ollie heads collide, there will be enough force and energy on both sides, so then they'll come to the center and just bounce off and nothing will happen. All right, check this out. When these two cars collide, the front ends are just gonna cave into each other. So actually, 
by the time all the wreckage is done, both cars will be the length of one car. All right. Let's just do this. All, all right. right. Sam dudes, start the pulling. I've gotten close with my cloak cars. Now I'm having second thoughts about me running into myself. Three, two, one. Like these Ali cars mean business. This is gonna be great. One Ali car versus another. Spiky hair versus spiky hair. What's gonna happen? Oh, hey, they're getting speed. Oh, they're man. getting speed. They're going. Oh. Oh. just obliterated the other face. Two cars hit, and the fronts caved in, and one of the Ollie faces didn't quite make it. Ollie, check this out, dude. <laughs> you're not a triplet, and you're not a twin either. What am I? Dude, you're a twin and a half. <laughs> yes! Dude, what would happen if Jackson crashed into himself? He's coming down, he's coming down! Oh! <laughs> Jackson wins. Dude, what would happen if two CJ cannonballs collided? Both cannonballs go bye-bye. And dude, what would happen if two Ali cars met head-on? Oh! One Ali takes out another. Back and forth, back and forth. Whoa, dad, he's going down. Oh! So today, we learned that liquid nitrogen is extremely cool. It's slingshots and hoops equals Whoa. slam dunk. Whoa. And when identical things come face to face, it's smashing. 